Hi everyone, this is Christina BX and I'm coming in with another one. This video is going to be out be about new products that I have been able to get my hands on and my review of those new products. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. This is how it comes. It's typical NARS packaging. You open it up and this is it it comes in a tube it has a cap now the difference with this is this is not technically classified as a foundation i actually did wear this foundation and i have kind of mixed reviews my experience is this is a great 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 tip however i don't believe that if you have certain areas of your skin that have hyperpigmentation or you have dark get darkness or spots this can come off or it did on my skin be very very blotchy I, that it actually to me in my opinion really pronounced any discoloration on my skin i mean this really brought it out i must honestly say that i did not use this as a regular a regimen for me like usually when i use these products i use these products without uh with concealer and i you know really prime my face but i didn't do that with this because i really wanted to see how this actually works on the skin i can say that if you use this tint like a regular foundation and you put concealer on and you put this on as a foundation it's great it is medium to full coverage it's very shocking how thick the stuff is um but i really must say it is a good product used correctly i mean this is not the kind of stuff that you're gonna wear like oh i'm just gonna get up and put this on my face and go i don't think that this product really does that i think that you really do need concealer you still need to conceal you still need to highlight and you still need to brighten that's just with my skin this is just my opinion so for the nars um velvet matte skin tint i really will say that the product is a fair product, fair to good. Um, it's kind of on a higher price point with all NARS products. This is definitely not drugstore. Would I purchase it again? No. But I will use this and wear it and I really think it's good. But I think there were just other products out there that are better. The next product that has been the rave and I mean the hype has been the makeup forever ultra hd foundation stick um it's the invisible cover stick foundation different marketed foundation in that it is it comes in a tube it's like this unfortunately when i went on i believe it was safari to purchase this so i thought i was getting something that i could definitely work with apparently i didn't it's too light as you can see it is very very light to light However, I did I couldn't do a full face with this, but I did use this as a highlight on with one of my other foundations and it is amazing. It's creamy. I mean, it's easy to work with. It blends well. It almost has a very sheer kind of texture so that when it lays beautifully on the skin, I'm definitely going to purchase this in my correct shade. Um, so will I purchase this again? Definitely. I rate this good to excellent. I think it is a very good product. I think it's worth the hype. The last foundation of the new ones that just came out is the Becca uh, Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I got mine in dark golden. I color matched myself perfectly. It's like a glass tube. It's very heavy. Um, it comes like this and you would think you screw it off you don't you turn the top and that little piece pops up I hope you can see that this little piece pops up you give this a squeeze a pump you unscrew it and it's a dropper and the foundation actually is in the dropper use a foundation brush and it was one of my foundation stippling brushes I use and I actually put it on it went on like a dream I mean it literally glided on my skin and blended in well this product is amazing now here's the downside I have combination skin I used to be oily but now I have dry patches so I really wanted a foundation that was a little bit luminous because I wanted to try a luminous foundation so I actually put this on and I actually wore it to work unfortunately by the time I got home I had that unique unfortunate experience of having oily looking skin I 
I'm not surprised that by after 10 or 12 hours that it looked uh, pretty much greasy in my T-zone. But it wasn't so greasy that I'm not going to wear it again. I really love this foundation. I think this foundation is good. Um, I don't think that if you're an oily skin person, I would recommend this foundation. I really wouldn't. If you are someone that's combination skin, depending on your day, will depend on how this works for you. If you're oily that day, it's not going to work for you. But if you're dry that day, it's going to work for you. But if you put it on in the morning and you're dry, and by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you're oily, it's going to have the same effect. But this is an excellent product. This is not even good to excellent. This is an excellent product if you're looking for an luminous foundation. Okay. So the next thing that I want to talk about are, <coughs> excuse me, Makeup Geek came out with their new, and I have it upside down, I have it in a Z palette, their new um, contour shades and their new blushes. I'm blown away by the contour shades. I am not a contouring person, and the reason why I'm not a contouring person is because because of my skin tone, no matter how many types of contours I buy, I contour patterns I buy, they never really have every pigmented. They usually come off looking a little bit dusty and blotchy. These uh, contour powders are so pigmented. I'm using, I got the contour palettes in, the contour shades in Scandal, and I believe the other one is deal breaker one cool one warm you barely dust these I mean I've used these since I've got them I've had them for a couple of weeks and I've used them continually they barely look touched because you just tap it they sell out so fast I can't believe how fast they sell out I actually went on as soon as I heard about them and I thought I heard about them relatively quickly but by the time I went on Shades were like sold out, sold out. The blushes as well. These, I wound up with these two blushes and they're in the color Summer Fling and Bliss. Because the ones that I wanted were all sold out. So these were the only two that I, I opted for because I had to have some. I had to see the formula. The blushes are amazing. But the formula is amazing. I'm glad I bought them. I will be repurchasing more of those. So Makeup Geek is really, really, really outstanding. They are blowing other um, makeup items away. I just I don't feel. The next thing that I want to talk about is the thing that everybody's been talking about. And I honestly think that it. I'm going to mention it as well because everyone else has mentioned it. The Nivea for Men Cooling Post Shave Balm insensitive. Everyone knows that Nikki Tutorials made this popular overnight by coming off and saying this is the best thing since sliced bread when Nikki Tutorials was right. This is the best primer that I've ever ever used and the most amazing thing about this primer is for some reason about this Nivea sensitive cooling post balm. This stuff really 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 helps your makeup to stick but it also sort of leaves your makeup, to me, a lightweight. It leaves my foundation really, really sitting on the skin beautifully. It blends, everything blends into it beautifully. Everything sticks to it. My makeup lasts. I mean, even with the um, aqua foundation that was uh, from Becca, that was, um, that was making my skin oily, it never separated on my face. It literally sat there, it just pulled, but it didn't run, it didn't separate. When I came home, it was still beautiful, and I had put this underneath it. So, this is amazing. I went out, I bought four of them, because they were selling out. I think I got them off of Amazon or Walmart. I got two kinds. I got the Pulse Shade Balm and Sensitive, and I got the cooling post shape balm because I wanted to be sure that I got the right one. The next product that I'm going to talk about is the Garnier Skin Active Cleansing Water. Um, the reason why I purchased this was because I really was interested in Bioderm. Everyone kept talking about Bioderm as a uh, remover and how wonderful it is. But when I went on to buy Bioderm, it was kind of expensive. So as I was looking through the site, and I think I was on Ulta or uh, one of the sites, um, 
they this popped up as a new item now this may not be pretty much new now because I think I bought this about a month or so ago I've been using this for about a month you can see how much I've used it goes a long way it to me is very good if, if this works half as well as bioderm bioderm must be amazing or else this is better I mean I really like this to get my eye makeup off it doesn't burn it doesn't sting and it really 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 is like water so this is a good product I would recommend this to anyone who um, has a sensitivity to makeup wipes or has a sensitivity to any makeup removing products I would definitely invest in this it really 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 works the last product I'm going to talk about I don't think they're new products but they're new for me I actually got these products off of um, I want to say Sam's Beauty, Sam'sBeauty.com. I believe that's where I got them on. They're the Iman, Iman lipsticks. I got actually five of them in different colors. Okay, so again, this and this one is mahogany. This is sort of a reddish. It has a lot of red tones, but it's a deep red tones, a little pink, a little brown. So, for those people who don't like red, which is me, this is a good color for me. I love that color. The next one is Wild Thing. Of course, this is my favorite because it's more of a purpley type shade. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. This is one of my favorites of the ones that I bought. This is Black Brandy. Again, this one is more of a darker redder shade. I believe that's one right here. Um, I really am more drawn to these reds, the deeper reds, than the brighter reds because I just don't think bright red looks good on everyone. But a deep, dark, cherry, black cherry red I think is good. Um, the next one is Opal. Opal is one of my favorites as well. It is a another purple type this is more of a deeper purple brownish dark brownish type lipstick again that color is phenomenal i'm gonna show you again jaguar next to the other ones just so you can get an idea and this one is jaguar so these are the colors that i got from iman you can see that they very pigmented they go on well um, I do think that they're formulated beautifully. I think that these are colors that I like. Um, and I think and there was a whole, um, whole wide range of colors. So that's all that I have right now. These are all the new products that I have. I'm playing with. I'm experimenting with. I am not losing this love for cosmetic here i am this is christina bx thank you for joining me i am product junkie and this is my new products and reviews so until next time bye